in this video paying attention to some old uh, Dutch books of the 1920s regarding radio reception. Say a uh, radio in the biggest uh, ID of the word. So we have here the very very important book of Mr. G. Corfer of the 1920s and uh, the book is called the wireless um, radio amateur station. This is part two, there's also a part one and I bought it on a radio flea market in the Netherlands and well uh, when you want to study old circuits and then I mean especially old tube circuits of the 1920s uh, here you have to say the best the best book to do that perhaps I can show something of it here again uh, interesting of course beautiful picture uh, loudspeaker uh, old radio station with tubes etc etc uh, well uh, for instance here I only say uh, open the book on a, a certain page more or less random uh, this is the so called click wave meter for short wave and of course when you know something about uh, radio shortwave radio um, when you tune to a certain radio station you hear uh, a click uh, anyway and here all the say statics etc etc of course it's a sea to drink I cannot say uh, pen over too far uh, say this is a kind of window antenna it's a loop antenna two loops by the way immersed together to get the best uh, radio reception and then especially on the magnetic part of the radio waves because this is a loop antenna it acts on the magnetic parts anyway um, well what's this uh, anyway and I cannot uh, say uh, directly comment on that circuit but anyway interesting to see a 19 20 um, amplifier, tube amplifier. Uh, it tells uh, uh, the inner side of a choke coil and resistance amplifier. And of course, th there is always a big difference in those days, by the way, by coupling. Uh, one tube to the other tube uh, that, that was done say via resistances and also via uh, coils say transformers and they make of course say a very very uh, essential difference in in the way how say uh, amplifying act, um, units could be a transistor, could also be a tube, are coupled. You can couple them via a transformer or via a resistor. Anyway, so some true somewhat again here a loop uh, radio receiver etc etc and of course you will surely find in this old book uh, 
by the way, uh, a book that is, say, key for the radio circuits in the Netherlands uh, in the 1920s. All kinds of circuits and photographs anyway. Beautiful uh, tube radio also here and here you see three capacitors in a row. Very, very, very good. Anyway, uh, well, uh, when you are interested in old school radio circuits uh, and more tube radio circuits, go to the website or the YouTube site of All American 5 Radio. Uh, Richard uh, tells here, tells on his website, on his YouTube channel, much more about tube circuits and especially uh, radio circuits. He has many, many circuits on his YouTube channel. Well, this is also a book of the 19, uh, I think the 1920s. The new radio book for boys, of course also for girls in those days. Uh, and here again you will see all kinds of radio circuits and this uh, filter circuit for instance is also now used in 2023 in uh, computers, computer power supplies. Coils here, two capacitors here, it's a uh, filter that filters out all kinds of noise. Etc. Well, of course here also many beautiful old radio circuits. This is for instance the most basic radio circuit that uh, you can have. And perhaps let me show it. And I, I have also showed this in an earlier video but anyway uh, one tube here. The coil, two coils are here that both are tuned to a certain frequency. This is the back coupling capacitor C2 and it sets the say, uh, back coupling and in a certain way the regeneration of the radio circuit. This is by the way the best circuit that you can use when you want to make a tube radio with one tube for AM, especially for uh, AM, say in the range of uh, 500 kilo cycles up to approximately uh, 1.6 mega cycles. Say 50 picofarad here. Say this capacitor is tuned here to the uh, AM band that is uh, between say 600 kilocycles and approximately 1.6 megacycles, 500 picofarad. This is uh, in the order of um, 200 microhenry up to approximately. 470 micro Henry. Correct me when I'm wrong. So the, the, this is the tank circuit. And here uh, out of the amplifying unit that is that triode tube there is a back coupling capacitor with which you can set this uh, AM uh, radio circuit to a very precise uh, frequency by coupling it back. So uh, anyway, of course this the whole principle 
can also be used for a short wave with a tube. Anyway, well, that was more or less all to tell. I also have a very old book of the 1920s. By the way, this is perhaps interesting to show all these old units, a loudspeaker, etc. Uh, etc. Et and in the past, these loudspeakers were driven by a DC current to give the magnetic force inside the uh, loudspeaker more uh, energy so that it could reproduce the sound of the uh, radio circuit better. That's the reason why you see here a transformer. Anyway, much more information on the World Wide Web. And perhaps also interesting to show this very old book out of the Netherlands Radio Telecom and radio telephone uh, telephony well anyway issued by Kluber in the Netherlands a uh, very very old book uh, I found this book and also found of someone who had this book in the past his uh, uh, notes that's in of course interesting say these notes were made in the 1930s or so anyway uh, well um, of course in all these old books you you find a kind of the same types of circuits. For instance, I thought about the triode circuit and this is exa exactly the same. It's a triode circuit with a backcoupling coil. So that say a uh, certain radio frequency can be pushed up, uh, regenerated because the a part of the energy that is received in the coil and is say uh, given back to the primary coil um, that's a, a kind of way to make such an old school tube circuit uh, say pushing up the energy out of the radio coil to a certain uh, say to the best value that's what I wanted to tell anyway uh, so old book anyway uh, here another book I want to show the it this this is very old book of the 1920s the radio book for uh, commerce, amateur and listener by engineer Shearer. I have already made a video about this on my YouTube channel. Uh, my camera runs out so uh, I'm now on 14 minutes on my camera and there is say beautiful old schematic here that I want to fold out uh, very very big and uh, well well I'm on 14 minutes on my camera but anyway uh, the only thing that I wanted to show here is that in those days uh, this beautiful old very very big schematic was made and perhaps here we have exactly the same one triode tube radio 
and you can surely make it and I have made it in the past. Say for AM this coil has to be has to be tuned to AM, say 500 kilocycles up to approximately uh, 1.6 megacycles, one triode tube. And here there is a telephone, and the telephone has to be in the order of the DC resistance of such a telephone has to be in the order of 2000 ohms. And you can also use say a crystal telephone, but of course then use here a uh, 2000 ohms resistor that parallels that crystal telephone. That was all to tell. Uh, I don't have enough time. I can say talk. Farta, big brand. Also now in 2023 a big brand. Uh, I can talk hours about all these old radios. And this is a tuning capacitor with a certain characteristic. They have different characteristics. Any way. I hope uh, it was not a too sloppy video. I want to end finally with some circuit out of this book. We constantly see this way of making. Uh, radios with tubes, triode tubes. And of course all you you see always here uh, uh, how the filament to the currents of these uh, to the how the filament current is changed can be changed with the help of a resistor here. Uh, say it means also that both tubes uh, are giving out more or less electrons from the cathode to the anode because the say the filament heats up or does not heat up enough etc etc that gives different say uh, properties about how such a tube is biased. So uh, let me show some pictures before my camera will surely switch out old transformers. Uh, well, perhaps interesting to show more. Uh, also tuning capacitors of the 1920s. They worked very well and etc. So that was all.